Hey, how's it going and today? I'm going to give you the simplest example yet of how to use the Blueprint user interface to communicate a keyboard event across two Blueprints. I've had a lot of problems setting up the user interface using casting and even direct Blueprint references. I get errors all the time. So anyway, hopefully this will save you some aggravation. So all we're going to do is set up one kind of dummy Blueprint and then the third person Blueprint. And I'm going to have a keyboard event and by clicking it, it's going to print a string out of the second Blueprint. So let's go ahead and create our user interface first. We'll just go to Blueprint, User Interface, and I'm just going to call this receiver interface and then we double click into it and I'm going to call this receiver function and then I'm going to go ahead and compile and save that and that's all we need to do here and so remember it's called receiver interface and receiver function. Now we're going to go ahead and create a dummy kind of blueprint class just so we have something to experiment with. And I'm just going to call this BP underscore receiver. And I'll just go ahead and double click into it. And then I'm just going to add a sphere so we have something to look at. So this is going to be on the receiving side of the interface. So the interface needs to be implemented on this side. And it's also the side on which it's going to be, there's going to be an event and the event's going to serve as the trigger for the print string. So we're going to go class settings and we're just going to go ahead and add that BP receiver interface. Let's see, receiver interface right here. So we're going to go ahead and compile and save and you'll see it over here. Now if we jump into the event graph, now we have the ability to create an event that's off of this. So we can just search for event receiver function. Here it is right here. And that's the advantage of using the interface is that it's its own event. So it doesn't need an event begin play. It doesn't need an event tick. It doesn't need anything to trigger it. As soon as it's called, it automatically triggers off. So this would be an advantage using the interface over the event dispatcher. If we come off of here, we can just print a string. And it can just say, thanks, I got the message. And that's it. So we're done with this. And I can close this. And then I can go ahead and drag this onto the scene. Okay, so then all we have to do is come into the third person blueprint. This is what I was trying to say earlier is that I've had problems trying to cast because we need a reference to that other blueprint. And I've had problems with casting. I've had problems with direct blueprint object references. So this is the method that's been the easiest and the most reliable so far. So we do need some sort of connection to that other blueprint. And so how we can do this is first we're going to have an event. So our event is going to be we're going to press the keyboard, the number one. So that's our event. So when we press it on the keyboard, it's going to send a message to the other blueprint, and then that blueprint's going to actually print the string. So anyway, from here, we're just going to right click and go get all actors, not all actors, of get actor of class. Because this way, so get not all. I'm sorry, get actor of class. So we don't want this to come in as an array. So we click off here, and then we just find our receiver blueprint, VP receiver here. I misspelled that. And then once we have this set, I can just go ahead and do the call. So I can go call receiver function. And that's all we have to do. And if I compile and save. So this will connect us to the blueprint, give us access to it, and then that's our target and we can make this communication happen. So that's it. That's all we have to do. So if we come in here and hit play, and I'm walking along and I want to trigger something with a keyboard press from the third person to another blueprint, I hit one. Thanks, I got the message. And that's it. So I hope you found this helpful. I know this can be confusing and every time I do it, I do it a little bit different, but I'm trying to get it simpler and simpler and simpler. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.